What is going on everyone? My name is Blind and I have a new series today for you guys. I'm really excited to bring it to you. Um, it, I started a singles on game battles the other day. So what I thought I would do is do a 1v1 with Blind or in the mind of Blind. I, I like that actually. That rhymes. I'll, I'll probably go with that. But so what I want to do is I'm going to record me playing in these singles matches, um, commentate over them, explain to you what I did, why I did it, and how it helped me and how I obviously ended up winning. Um, I'll probably... I want to bring a little bit closer games, but this one was the first one I had. This was the first singles I've done in this game. Actually, it's been the first singles match that I've done since Call of Duty 4. I literally used to play shipment only. Um, I did the variant on that. It was, oh man, those were the days. But So let's go ahead and get right into this. Um, it's This was playing uh, GB variant S&D uh, on the GB variant maps. For those of you that don't know, there's select maps and things. You can look them up if you want to know. Um, but the guy I'm playing is 4-0. He knew what he was doing. He was not, um, you know, an easy opponent by any means. And I played really well, and I hope you guys enjoy this. So let's go ahead and get right into this. I'm using the Scorpion Quick Draw Laser. So we're going to go ahead and get right into this. I push blue street side. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hop up on this bench right here. Uh, vault over the wall. Now, expecting him to be on fountain, I didn't see him, so I ran into blue. If he had been bricks or fountain side, I expected him to push me and follow me into blue because most people would be sitting there and had he spotted me, most likely would have chased me. Uh, I spot him there as I poke around the corner, pre-aiming just to make sure that he doesn't get any sort of advantage on me, and I shoot him in the back and execute that pretty well. Um, like I said, the class setup, I had the Scorpion with the Quick Draw Laser. Now, if you can see, I have a 2-3 to three bar right now, so he was hosting in. Um, this definitely didn't, uh, the gun helped uh, with the lag compensation, I must say. I didn't really notice too much lag compensation and host advantage for him, uh, but dang, I, this class is very good. The rate of fire compared to whatever he was using, it was the type 25, it's hard to beat. Uh, so back into this, I stun left street and push around right side here, and I spot him coming out of graveyard, jump shot and pick him up. Uh, me, I'm a very aggressive player, I will always be flanking, you're going to see that multiple times, I'm going to do it round after round because that's just how I play, and I'm not going to change my play style by any means. I'm an aggressive, objective player, and I'm always going to be flanking, and especially in singles, it's a lot easier to do it than it is in team, and even doubles, because um, if he's not flanking in things, we're either going to run into each other, or we're literally just going to flank each other and not see each other to the last few seconds of the match. So, um, again, I'm going to do that again. I'm going to push B side here, and expecting him to come around this corner up here, up, up the staircase, a lot of people push that way, didn't see him, so I check mid, go back around here towards cop car side, Still not seeing him in a spawn, not seeing him gold dumpsters. I'm wondering where he could be at this point, but again, he's not an A and he's not in blue. So the last place he could be is mid. Now, at the time, I wasn't thinking this. I kind of was just checking. Hopefully, he'd walk by me. Check mid there, uh, you know, kind of playing passive, hoping he would walk by me. And again, checking A, he's not there. Going into mid, boom, he's top fountain, drops down right in front of me, and I shoot him in the back. A lot of luck there. I didn't expect him to be there. It was the last, one of the last couple places he could have been, but at the time, I don't think I was actually thinking that. I was thinking he might be in my spawn, so I was going to just, you know, walk around and check all my different corners. But lucky enough, he was up there, and I got the kill. So moving up into the fourth round here, I'm going to push B side again, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Again, I'm using the quick, I, I don't use a secondary weapon, I use the combat knife. Um... Pushing up B side here, I I hear him stun check A. Now stun check is just like it seems. They're gonna you're gonna stun around the corner that you're expecting to uh, you know to check to check or jump around. So I hear the stun in A. So I know he's not B side. He was stun checking uh, to make sure I wasn't there. I push through grave into blue. No broken glass, so he isn't inside blue. I go into his spawn here. Now this is pretty risky, but you know it worked for me. But still, I uh, wouldn't exactly recommend being in the open as much as I was right there. I mean I had my back completely exposed, and even if he had you know been caught in his spawn, had to do something, and just had to walk away from his Xbox, or anything could have happened where he could be playing extremely slow, and my back would have been completely exposed, but, you know, that didn't happen, but, you know, it's it's risky, but it worked, so I stun check A to see if he's planning, he's not, he comes around the corner, and I miss a few shots there, wasn't very good on my part, Chokey McChokester over here, but the guy choked just about as hard as I did, because he still got outgunned, um, I missed my first five to six shots, and I ended up being able to correct them and take him out, luckily, he didn't expect me to be there, and uh, choked. So, moving up into the fifth round here, grabbing the bomb, and I'm going to push up B-side again. Now, actually, at this point, I think, you know, I'm up four rounds. I have nothing to lose. I'm going to rush him, completely rush him, right through middle. He's not there. Look to my left and pick him up. This guy has got to be pissed at me. I mean, let's be honest. I am just all over him. He literally can't even move without me being on him, and that's how you got to play sometimes, and <clears throat> it doesn't always work that way, 
But when it does work out in your favor like this, it's definitely beneficial. And, you know, if you're up 4-0, you don't have a lot to lose. You might as well push. Like, let's be honest. You really, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry. Like, you don't have a lot to lose. If you even were to lose a round, you know, well, maybe I should slow down. And he, he, there's no point. You just play aggressive, and a lot of times it'll work out for you. So, again, I'm going to do the same thing. Rush right through middle into his spawn. And, boom, he thinks that it's going to work for him. But, unfortunately, it doesn't on his part. Pick him up, going up 6-0. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy, if you wouldn't mind dropping a like, if you guys want to see some more of this, uh, I think it's a lot of fun, and I think you guys can learn a lot. And uh, it, it, it's nice for me because uh, I feel pretty good when I can, you know, teach someone something. Uh, on these past videos that I've gotten, people have been really supportive, and you know, say they learned a lot and this and that, and it, it's kind of cool. So if you guys did enjoy, like I said, drop a like. If you wouldn't mind subscribing, I would greatly appreciate it. If not, thanks for stopping by and checking out my other videos. I'll have a little annotation up top. And uh, all right, well, my name is Blind, and I'm signing out. <laughs> See you guys.